September 17, 1939. After completing our first successful mission out on sea, my crew and I returned to our home port as we had nearly expended all of our torpedoes and were in desperate need of supply. Upon returning to port, my crew went on a well-deserved leave while I had the luxury, if you can call it that, of attending numerous meetings regarding the strategies of the wolf packs for the remainder of the war. While we have certainly been wreaking havoc on Allied supply lines, Command has suggested that we keep a lookout for Royal Navy battlecruisers as well as battleships in our hunt. It has been whispered that Hitler desires to push on Britain after securing Poland, but in order to have any chance of doing so with minimal casualties, we have to cripple the Royal Navy's ability to defend their coastlines. I've been commanded to take part in this task, but I've been informed that command might soon have different plans for me and my crew to relocate to the south near Spain, as an increase in British shipping has recently been spotted. I have no doubt that whatever command has in store for us, my battle-tested crew will be ready for the challenge and welcome it with open arms. Hey everybody, how you guys doing? My name is Crazy Jester and welcome back to another episode of U-Boat and might I just say what a beautiful morning it is here at the port of Wilhelmshaven. So clearly we have our orders as my crew, these lucky dogs, got to go on a very nice break for themselves, we have been tasked to, to now get back out there and start looking for uh, the Royal Navy. Now, it doesn't just mean looking for those cargo ships or anything like that. They actually want us to start looking for the biggins, the battle cruisers, the battleships, all of that lot. Now, that poses a bit of a problem as it is going to be incredibly dangerous, but we, like I said, we welcome the challenge. Nothing we can't handle. Absolutely nothing we can't handle. Go ahead and get everything resupplied here, because that's going to be super important. Flak, do we have everything for flak? Let's go ahead and load this bad boy up. We need everything. Ammunition, fuel. Oh yes, definitely need some fuel. Items that we need. Well, equipment. We've only got... Bread and canned, or canned bread and bacon. I could I wish we had a little bit more variety here. The new offensive tonnage war. We'll see what uh, Admiralty has in store for us here. I do like the uh, tonnage war. I am a fan. Espionage at Cardiff docks. Ooh, your goal will be to transport a spy unharmed to the coordinates. Yes, near the Cardiff docks. You may get additional orders. Uh, that could be one. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to take on the good old task of Cardiff Docks and drop off a spy. I think that is super important. Get this guy on British soil, especially since there were whispers of the offensive of England. We'll keep that under wraps, though. So, Gustav Ortel. Go ahead and select this one. We'll also have to get ready because Command did suggest... They hinted that we might start heading down towards the uh, port of Gibraltar, right around Spain, but we might also start getting a new home port up here. Maybe La Spezia. Start doing some offensive down here. I think that would be pretty awesome, quite frankly, to be able to do that. Already on the boat and he wants to talk. Mr. Siegfried greets us in a very official fashion and explains that he received orders to join the crew of the U-48 during this assignment. Welcome! I'm sure you're going to ask a million questions, but that's okay. Well, here we are. We are ready to rock and roll. So, without further ado, if there is nothing else that needs to be done, we are on it again. Forward two, please. So let's go ahead and start mapping out something, shall we? So we need to get to Cardiff Port. Now... I feel like the best way to do that, especially with France, I mean, obviously the, the best way, the easiest way, might not be the best, but certainly the easiest, is to go through the English Channel. Because of it's just a straight shot and then come around. I don't believe we can do anything. We have to maintain Siegfried Wernicke's cover, so I don't believe we can engage targets at all. I think we have to actually drop them off before we can engage. I'm fairly certain. So, we're going to have to map something out, something along these lines, and then we have the option of completing the objective at night, which 
I mean, why not? It's super simple. We can just chill out here and then wait for nightfall and get in there. But obviously we have to drop him off near Cardiff, so here's our drop-off point. That shouldn't be any problem at all. And then as soon as we're done, we can uh, wreak havoc. Maybe go to the actual dock itself. I like that idea. We will go to the dock itself and see if we can't sink any of the Royal Navy shipping that are docked there. Because that is what Admiral Lee asked us to. So, damn it, we're doing it. Alright, well, we are officially in the English Channel. And, uh... It's going to be a dicey one. Now, we are not at war with France yet, so let's go ahead and favor the French coastline, shall we? But, God, you just wish there was a little, little uh, you know, a little uh, canal or something. Just go right through. Cut half of this uh, distance out. That would be great. But we're still pushing through. We're, uh, we're nearing the target. Okay, well, how we made it through the English Channel without coming across any ships... Uh, completely baffles me but we uh we certainly did so we are at the opening towards cardiff so what we're going to do the plan of action if you will is we are going to wait it out it's currently eight in the morning let's go ahead and take a look out here yeah it's super bright out eight in the morning out in the middle of the uh pretty much english sea here and uh just off the coast we need to wait it out because if we can have the option to complete at night hey you know why not Get that extra experience for our crew. I love it. So we're going to go ahead and post up right near the coast here. And uh, hold on. Well, actually, we'll post up right here. And then once around 2100 gets here. So in about 12 hours, we're going to go start making our way over to the drop-off point. That's the plan, and we're sticking to it. All right, so we finally ran into our first little problem. It is 9.37 in the morning. And uh, we have pretty big groups heading away. I mean, we have a small little group. This must be like their little scouting party, one to three ships. But we also have funnel smokes of three or five to ten ships heading out towards sea. Now, that could be, oh my goodness, that could be the battleships <gasps> that we're looking for. Now, can I do this? Can I attack these while we have the spy on board? Can we still make contact... Or do we have to be completely off the grid until we drop off Wernicke? Because if we come here and that's a group of battleships or warships, we have to. We have to take the shot. They might just be leaving Cardiff, Doc, and it's going to be empty by the time we get there. Oh my goodness, this is the captain's orders. We're doing this. All right, we're just coming into view of these ships. All right, so good news. It's just merchant ships. So we don't have to engage them right now, which works out pretty well because that would blow our cover. But it's just merchant ships. It wasn't the large group of warships that I thought it was. So, with that being said, back to our original mission now that we know what it is. Let's go ahead and head north, shall we please? Forward to... Get our man on the hydrophone, ready to rock and roll. Let's go ahead and give two to the engine to start conserving a little more gas. It's 10 a.m. currently, so we're still uh, we're still doing pretty well for time. We don't have a whole lot of ground under us, though. That's the problem. We have 41 meters where I am right now, and along the coast where I'm going to be, it's looking like 19 to 20 meters. So this is going to be a tough one. Got to stay under because it's the dead of day. And we've got all these freaking ships uh, patrolling the area. It's going to be quite annoying. Alright, it is 2158 and we are ready. It is a very, as I go under the water, clear night though. So we need to be ever vigilant of what's going on. So here's the plan. We're going to take a course right around here. And then we'll shoot up. And then we're going to go enter Cardiff Dock. So... Hopefully we can get the spy, I and mean, we haven't had any opposition yet. We, we flew right through the English Channel. So we'll see if there's anything here, but we're going to start making our approach. Here we go. All right, we have made it through the channel here, and we are in a good position to drop off our spy. However, we do need to wait until it is nighttime to do so, which would be the best. So we are going to hang out in this open area. We are going to dive down to periscope depth 
and we are going to hold off until night and then we will move in. All right, it is 2022 on September 28th and we have a small group of ships that looks like they're patrolling the coast. So we are moving in to the final area to finally get this uh, spy off the boat so we can actually start doing some U-boat stuff. Not just being a glorified bus, if you will. All right, we have got them out of here. New objective, leave the area and send report to headquarters. Well, we are now moving to our objective of Cardiff Docks and it will be glorious. Not a whole lot of room to mess around with there, though, so... No, not a whole lot of room at all, actually. It looks like it's only got two meters worth of depth. We might not be able to do Cardiff docks. That might be impossible. It goes from 19 meters, where we can actually get underwater, to now two meters, one meter, zero meters, apparently. We'll check it out. We'll check it out. Oh, and our spy, Wernicke, has communicated us that his target in Cardiff docks is heavily guarded. His mission is top priority for us and has to be aided at all costs. Your order is to prepare any kind of diversion near the port to draw port defense's attention. Oh! Alright, well, I guess we need to go look for some scouting parties and blow some stuff up. Okay, so we have been tasked with... Coming up with a diversion, and the only diversion I can think is there is a lone Primula little destroyer that is docked currently. So, that is exactly, what's the depth right now? 22 meters, we can go to periscope depth, that's okay. Let's go ahead and do that, forward one. Okay, apparently we've already done the diversion. Getting uh, close to the Cardiff docks was enough, and that's all we needed. Uh, this is not good. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go ahead and get at least a torpedo off on this guy. He is a velocity zero. We know he's just a small little destroyer. We'll call it that. Course zero. And let's go ahead and get a distance really quick here. Right around 1.8, actually. 1800 kilometers. Let's go ahead and load one torpedo, please, if we will. Oh, load two, one. Bebessern. We can just do a very shallow, shallow depth. Oh, eins, as soon as it's ready, we're going to get this out of here and get the hell out of Dodge. And. Los! Okay, that's one gone. Went. Holy shit. Oh my gosh, we've got another one coming at us. Velocity, uh, I don't even know, five, not, we have to hurry up on this course. Uh, roughly 152, yes, distance, uh, uh, 1300 kilometers, holy hell. Load two, two, he's coming right for us. I just heard a explosion, so that must be it. We're gonna have to go ahead and fire this right now. We don't have any time to really play with. And yes, we sure did sink it. There it is, sitting right at the bottom. That is one under. Holy shit, come on, come on, come on, come on. Scary, scary. He's coming right for us too. We can all, all we can do is just stay submerged and hope. Oh my gosh, this is actually looking really good. I believe. Come on. Holy shit, we fucking hit it. We friggin' did it. Oh my goodness, that is right in the center. Is that gonna be enough though? It looks like it took it like a champ. I am just that is incredible. I am glad we hit it. Oh, it, it took it like a champ. I can't believe this destroyer is still up and running. Holy hell. How is it still alive? Wow. Good on it, though. Probably because we hit a dead center in the frickin' front. Let's go ahead and send this uh, Primula sunk. How are you still alive? I mean, genuinely, how are you still alive? Looks like there's nothing that even hit. Is he going right by us? Holy hell. We're not even going to be spotted by him. He is going right by us. Oh my gosh. How did we luck out? As he limps away, maybe. Gosh, I'm, I am still shocked that it took a freaking torpedo right to the front. And it is just cruising away. That is incredible. All right, we need to wait for this to actually uh, move past us, and then we're good. New message. 
This message seems to be encrypted with a foreign cipher, and we can't do it. Well, then, okay, okay, so he has moved a little bit. Let's go ahead and go forward one. Electric engines, if we can, please. Let's get the hell out of Dodge, shall we? I am not liking being here this, uh, this long. And he's moving on. He's actually caught on the net. Look at that. What the hell's going on there? Oh my gosh, we got another one. This is going to be a bit of a pain with all these ships coming in. We need to play this super safe. Holy hell, we have another ship that's on our escape route that looks like it's just parked. Oh, it's such a wimpy little ship, though. That would be a waste of a torpedo. That would be a waste. We're not going to waste our time with that. We're going to go ahead and change course. Still go forward one, please. And we're going to get the hell out of here. Get out of Cardiff. Oh my goodness, and there it is in the background. We managed to get out of there. I can't believe we hit that freaking torpedo on the move. And it didn't go down. I can't believe it. I, I just... I am absolutely baffled. That took a full torpedo to the front. I, I, I mean, I say wimpy. It's no longer wimpy. Uh, British destroyers, the Royal Navy destroyers, have earned a new respect, in my opinion, being able to handle a torpedo like that. But wow, that was uh, that was a little dicey. We did manage to sink that one very small destroyer that was uh, docked at port there, which worked out pretty well. Got our spy out there, which is certainly going to help us. Uh, hopefully it's going to give us a lot of vital technology that we need, especially for Cardiff docks. So, now all that's left to do, really, is plot, of course, to get out of Cardiff, and we are going to start attacking any shipping that is in the AM94, AM95, 9798 area. Uh, maybe even go to the BF1389 and 21. That's the plan, because this is going to be where all the supply ships are coming from, and that's going to really help. Hopefully we come across a battleship or a battle cruiser. But the plan after that, certainly, oh, port defenses, we don't want that. The plan after that, let's go ahead and drop down to one, actually. The plan after that, hopefully, once we complete this mission, is I want to change ports. There has been a huge request for me to go down to the Mediterranean right around here and start doing some missions. So I'm going to try and get my port changed to the La Spezia port and see if we can't start taking missions down here because I think that would be pretty cool as I have never ventured down here. I've gone down to the Gibraltar area to uh, Dibble Dabble, but never actually change ports or taking up serious missions up here so i think that would be pretty bitchin but as it stands right now ladies and gentlemen that is going to do it for this episode i really hope you guys have enjoyed it i thought it was a uh, pretty intense myself pretty cool i'm still just I'm, I'm completely baffled on that destroyer how we didn't take it out i am i am shocked but nonetheless if you guys have liked this episode please comment down below let me know what you guys thought Please consider giving the video a thumbs up. It really helps me out. It helps the channel out. For anyone that is brand new to the channel, this is your first time seeing this video, and you want to see more like it, and many more coming out soon, not only on U-Boats, but I'm currently in the making of a series for Iltu Stremovic, as well as a series for Bannerlord. It's going to take a little longer to get those out, because I'm just trying to play it out how I want to go about it, but they are in the making, so that's what you guys have uh, to look forward to in the coming future please consider subscribing. Go ahead and hit that little bell button right next to the subscribe. Get notified every time a new video comes out. But in the meantime, I'm going to get back at it, start working on the next mission for U-Boats as Hello 40 XP, I like it, as well as the other series. And until then, I hope you all have an incredible day. Take it easy, okay?